So today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. First, what you want to do is you want to search up models for your 3D tray. Make sure you know they're they're free, obviously. Um, so I'm just looking over here. I could go to Thingiverse. This is normally the website that I use. Thingiverse uh, bonsai tray. So let's look through this real fast. So yeah, um, this guy's pretty cool. His name is Manticorp on Thingiverse. He has some really nice designs. Uh, Got some really cool stuff. So anyway, find whatever tray you want to find. Uh, for this example, we'll just go and find one of his older models. Uh, we can use this one. This one I already liked. So click on that, and then you want to hit download file. And then what you want to do is this should be downloaded. What we can do now is show in folder, and you can. I'm gonna. I look away from my files just in case there's something personal on there. I'm gonna extract files and uh, we'll ex just extract your files to something, some folder. I don't really know. Okay, so I just extracted them and now I'm gonna open up a program called Cura. Uh, I didn't show you how to extract it, but I mean, there's a bajillion videos out there. Just learn how to extract files, not a big deal. You just click on, right click on the file that's zipped and you say extract files and then you designate a folder. In this case, I de designated a thing folder. So open up Cura and you should go to files and then you should go on load model file and then just uh, let's get out of here. Let me find that exact file that I had. Should be something like this. Anyway, yeah. So click on the file and then click on open. And it should open up always kind of sideways. So on Cura, you want to download version 15.04.5. Um, make sure that on the Cura website, you don't get the newest one because the newest one is just really weird and difficult. Get that version. So what you want to do is you want to click on the pot. You want to click on, I think, rotate. Make sure that the base is at the bottom. It's just easier for printing. So turn it 90 degrees and then scale it. This is for interpretation. I'll find out your exact measurements. For this one, I'm just gonna eyeball it, to be honest, because I know how big my, tr my 3D printer thing is. Move it here, I guess. I'm missing feet, um, but that came with the file. I'm just not going to look for it right now. But you'd also want to, uh, on the same file, open up your uh, the little the little feet files, and you want to open them. Anyway, uh, just move it to whichever way. When it's yellow, that means that it's actually valid. And here are the files that I use. Uh, anyway, then what you want to do is you want to click on file and you want to save the G code to your to your SD and your um, the SD that comes with the printer or whichever SD you have. Put in a USB with a little SD adapter and uh, yeah, from there save the G code and I'll show you what to do from there. So first step you really want to do is you want to go to quick settings. And depending on which 3D printer you have, this is mostly for just the Anet. It's the most affordable 3D printer. Just want to preheat PLA. Um, you can find out if your plastic is either PLA or ABS by just looking at the box of your line. But most of the time, it tends to be PLA. And then you just want to click on that, and it should start heating up. Yep.
after peeling it back. Uh, it's finally done eight hours later. I still need to paint it and I still need to cut these rough edges off. This is just to keep the plastic straight. Um, but yeah, I just saved myself, what, $20 for a bonsai pot? Still need to paint it, but it looks very nice. It's got nice drainage holes. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video informative and uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you guys later.